Happy Monday, Calvary. It's Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever been tested? I, I'm sure you have. I mean, we just went through a pandemic where everybody was encouraged to get tested for COVID. If you even had a little bit of a runny nose or sneezed in public. But, uh, but we've all been tested. I mean, in school, you took tests in order to pass courses and to graduate. Of course, it is interesting because they called them final exams, but you had to keep retaking them every semester, uh, it seems like. So uh, in driving, you had to pass a test in order to get a license. If, if you're in a profession, you probably had at some point to pass a test some way, shape, or form for you to practice. In, in law, you have to pass the bar. In, uh, you, know, you have to pass a real estate test to get your license so you can practice. Uh, I know for pastors, it's an ordination uh, council or group that says, yes, they're ready to do this. They have to pass the test. Uh, if you have children, you are tested often. And uh, that's a test of patience most of the time. Uh, if you're driving, then you get tested for you know, remaining calm with other drivers around you. Uh, and then if you've ever had to you know, file an insurance claim or deal with an insurance company, then of course that tests your sanity. But We've all been tested. Don't know how you're doing, whether you're passing or failing those tests, but we're all tested. And, and David in Psalm 26 invites God to test him. Listen to this. He says, Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity, and I have trusted in the Lord without wavering. Prove me, O Lord, and try me. Test my heart and my mind. For your steadfast love is before my eyes, and I walk in your faithfulness. David invites God to test him. He is such a man of integrity that he says, God, go ahead and examine my heart and my mind. Right now, I just feel like I'd fail those tests. And, and yet, here's the thing. We know David failed the test. I mean, his failures are part of Scripture. We read the stories of David and Bathsheba where David committed not only adultery, but then he had her husband killed, which makes him the, the one who's guilty of murder because he's the one who plotted it and ordered it. Uh, we know that David failed in his parenting test because he had the son Absalom who tried to kill David and tried to take over his kingdom and, and revolted against him. And we know that David failed a test of faith when late in his life he ordered a census which God had not told him to take and... and, uh, and the whole country suffered because of that. So we know David wasn't perfect, and yet his life is considered an example of integrity and faithfulness. Why is that? It's because his failures were the exception, not the rule. In other words, we're all going to fail, but is failure a surprise to the people around you, or is it something that they expect? So I just want to challenge you to invite God to examine your heart to test your faith. I know that might scare some of you, but if you do that, here's the thing I know. God will point out your flaws and your failings, and that gives us an opportunity to repent, and I hope you repent quickly, and to align ourselves with Jesus and to follow him better than we did before. Because we need to be people of integrity. If we claim Jesus as our Savior, then we need to understand that we cannot represent Jesus unless our lives reflect his character. So um, invite God to examine your heart, repent quickly, and embrace the grace of God, which is complete for those of us who are in Christ Jesus. And so I hope that blessed you, and I hope you're ready to go out this day and pass the test.